Hello viewers, hope you all are well. We've been talking a lot about how to give an effective interview to have a successful offer in your hand and what questions can be asked in the interviews, how those should be responded. We also in the uh, past have had a very elaborated discussion of how a a very impressive and effective resume and CV should be written. And uh, that was um, that was a segment in which uh, Dr. Vaishali Batra was featured. But we have never discussed how an engaging cover letter should be written. So how many of you just copy and paste the cover letter which you have used in the past or which uh, you have, uh, which some of your friends have used and use it as a reference and just make some tweaks and changes and uh, use that cover letter. How many of you have a single cover letter and you use that cover letter for every job application you're doing? That is wrong. As you have to be very particular in changing the resume according to the job job profile or the job position you are applying for it is also necessary to tweak not just tweak but also change a few things in your cover letter uh, to make yourself outshine in in number of applicants that are applying with you so today I'm going to emphasize on a few tips that is going to help you uh, make, help you write or draft a very impressive uh, cover letter. So let's start with the first tip. So make sure that the goal of your cover letter is to land an interview. So remember that goal. Stick to one page and only include relevant information that outlines your suitability for the job. Don't be repetitive. So there's no need to recap your CV. We tend to use almost whatever we have done in your CV or your resume and then just, just copy or pick up a few uh, wordings or sentences from your resume and put it in the cover letter. Do not be repetitive. Your cover letter is about giving prospective employers more details and context. As I said, customize. Make sure that cover letters are a way to set yourself apart. So generic copy and paste applications are hardly considered. So don't, don't ever copy and paste or don't ever repeat your cover letter from your earlier job application to your uh, uh, following job, job application. Make sure to focus on the employer. So take time to understand the role and demonstrate how your background and skills address the needs of the organization. So you definitely have to make sure to pinpoint those skill sets, that experience you have in a very condensed and a brief form, which will be relevant to the employer or to the organization that you are interviewing with. And the last and very important is use plain language. Make your cover letters readable. So paying attention to the wording, formatting, font, and text size is of utmost important before you finalize your cover letter. Don't forget to proofread. And sometimes it is, in good, it is a good idea to get it buddy checked. So send it to, over to your friend or your parents or your seniors to get it uh, checked for once. Of course, you will not need that for every cover letter, but when you're writing your first cover letter, it is good to take opinions from your people around. So these are four, these are five important tips. Remember the goal that you should 
get an interview with your cover letter. Do not be repetitive. Customize the cover letter. Focus on the employer and ultimately use plain language. So I am going to I'm going to give you the example of the cover letter which I use and I have written myself. Of course, I have also learned it with time to write it myself. I am not calling it as a perfect cover letter, but this is going to give you an idea of how the cover letter should be very uh, short, condensed and to the point. So let me go ahead and share my screen so that you can have a sneak peek at my cover letter. So I hope you all can see my screen. So in this cover letter, it starts with my name and the, the uh, text which I have blocked or covered is the date, so your name and the date, and you need not start with, start with respected sir, respected madam, dear sir, dear madam, you need not address this to anybody. You can just say to whomsoever I may concern. In your first one or two sentences, you should be able to tell them what your skill sets are, what your backgrounds are, and how confident you are that this job profile is going to suit, uh, is, is in, in the range of suitability of your uh, experience, of your um, expertise. And make sure to pinpoint your three, minimum three key accomplishments. Bullet those three, or if you have more than three, don't go beyond five, but three to five is a good number. Go ahead and bullet those accomplishments under some of my key accomplishments include. And that is an idea uh, that you are conveying or giving to your organizer of why you are so confident in getting this uh, specific role. And at the end, you can just add a few more two or three sentences in which you can write something that you have done, which you have an experience and have gained expertise on and how flexible you are. So you should also be able to write this in your cover letter that you're available to work immediately. Trust me, it never happens immediately. There is time uh, it takes for them to verify your background, write up an offer letter. They understand if you are relocating from a, uh, from one city to other, but make sure that you can mention that, that you're available to work immediately and you show the willingness, willingness to relocate by writing it down in the words. Also, if you have a phone number and if you are comfortable with it, you can go ahead and mention your phone number the way ha I have given at the end of the uh, cover letter saying you can kindly reach me on my phone at this or uh, mention your email ID. Although you have this information in your, um, uh, in your resume, it is good to mention these things in your cover letter and then just uh, thank them sincerely. So that's it. That's how short brief and uh, to the point your cover letter should be the employers or the recruiters do not have time to go through your uh, long boring cover letters do not make it very wordy keep it very very short and try to leave a leave a point of what you're trying to make only by using minimum amount of words, minimum amount of plain language, sorry, maximum amount of plain language, minimum amount of words. And um, again, I know these days when you apply on, on the company website or through the uh, recruiting job sites like Glassdoor, Indeed, nobody asks you for a cover letter. So what we do is we try to be lazy and don't even attach cover letter. Do not do that. 
attaching a cover letter as other documents and titling the document as cover letter shows that you are very diligent and you are very responsible and it shows your urge of uh, wanting and preparing for that job. So make sure to remember all these tips when you're writing a cover letter. And this is definitely going to help you uh, to make it more engaging. Make It will also make it more responsive for the interviewers to give a feedback to you or get back to you by uh, reading that. Or it might also create interest of the interest of the uh, interviewers or the uh, recruiters to to go through your resume if your cover letter seems a little interesting and don't worry if they do not even mention about your cover letter or do not go through your cover letter but it is your job to go ahead and write a very uh, brisk cover letter so that uh, it shows uh, it shows your uh, preparedness uh, so i hope this uh, short uh, discussion on how to write a cover letter and the tips I have included in ra while you write a cover letter uh, will help you in your uh, job search. So coming soon will be few very, very easy tips on writing a resume. I remember we have done a very descriptive, elaborative uh, video on how to differentiate between a resume and a CV, but I never went ahead by giving you short tips on how to uh, write an impressive uh, resume or eye-catching resume is what I would call. Uh, so next video will include that and I hope you enjoy my videos. I hope these videos are helpful for you. I hope you uh, utilize some of my tips and are, they are helpful for you when you are uh, doing anything relevant to the videos. So I will see you, see you soon and take care. Make sure to subscribe my channel, like the videos and comment below if you have any questions and I'm more than happy to help you. So see you soon. Thank you, viewers. Have a safe day.